All right, 8.3, proving triangle similarity by SSS and SAS. So theorem 8.4, side-side-side similarity theorem. If the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional, then the triangles are similar. In the previous um, lesson, we said angle-angle, right? This And that one only dealt with the angles, right? No sides. This one only deals with the sides, no angles. Next up, theorem 8.5, the side angle side. If one angle of one triangle is congruent to an angle of a second triangle, and the lengths of the sides including these angles are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So what this is saying is, is that if we have a triangle, and there's an angle here, and the two side lengths next to it that make that angle are proportional to the other triangle, then they're congruent, all right? So this one's a mixed bag. It has both of them. The big deal with 8.5 that can sometimes be confusing is that it has to be the sides that are making the angle, that are touching that angle, okay? If it was a triangle where we're talking about, uh, we're talking about this side, and that side, and we're given this angle, then we can't say anything about it, right? Because that angle is not made by those two sides. All right, let's look at number one. Are any of these triangles similar? Write a similarity statement if so. So looking at here, it looks like there are two congruent sides on each of these triangles. And then there is a longer side. Is that correct? Yes. So let's take, um, let's start off with these two. Let's see if they are congruent. So I'm going to look at just their sides. I'm looking at side, 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 because none of the angles are listed. I'm going to look at um, 12 over 20. And I want to know, is that equal to? another 12 over 20 and 16 over 30. Well, I'm just going to convert these to decimals just because I can. 12 divided by 20 is 0.6. 16 divided by 30 is 0.53. So what that tells me is that, that those are not. So I'm just going to put a little X through that. Next up, let's check these two. Um, I like to put the smaller triangle on top just because that gives me a nicer um, decimal. The smaller side is 8 over 12. And I want to know, is that equal to 12 over 16? Right? I could list 8 over 12 again, but I don't have to. 8 divided by 12 is 0.6 repeating. 12 divided by 16 is... Uh, 0.75, so they are not congruent either. Lastly, we'll check the two top triangles. Um, the smaller one on top, I'll say 8 on top and then 20 on bottom, and 12 and 30. 8 divided by 20 gives me 0.4. 12 divided by 30 gives me 0.4. So those two triangles are similar, right? Because their sides are proportional. So now I need to write a similarity statement for these two top triangles here. Let me circle them so we remember what we're talking about. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna deal with the left triangle first. Triangle TUS is similar to triangle well, T is between the two shorter sides. So I need to find the point that is between the two shorter sides on the other one, and that's going to be W. And then I'll go clockwise, V, X. V, just to check myself, V is between the short and the long. U is between the short and the long. So it looks like we're going to be good. And this is my thing, and I'll write um, by side, side, side. They're similar by side, side, side. 
Number two, are these two triangles similar? And if so, we're going to write a similarity statement. These ones are nice because they have the right angle there. It kind of orients ourselves. And we're given two side lengths. And we're going to just need to see if they're proportional, right? We know that the angles are congruent, so now we got to deal with the, the sides. We have 18 over 24, 21 over 28. So if I take 18 divided by 24, that gives me 0.75. 21 divided by 28 is another 0.75. So yes, these are similar. So we can say triangle RST is similar to triangle NPQ by, well, this time it's side, angle, side. All right. That is that. Make sure you have these theorems somewhere, and good luck on your homework.